my friends. It's Art with Emily time. It's good to see you again. Today we're going to start with a picture book. We'll talk a little bit about the project for the day. I'll show you some videos of how I made the project and then you can go and make the project on your own or with a family member or a friend. The book we're going to read is called Leaf Man. And I'm noticing that the end pages have all different leaves that we see in the fall or the autumn. And that's what season it is right now, right? Has anyone seen leaves that are these colors lately outside near your home? What I think is really neat about leaves that are changing colors is that they have so many different colors on one leaf. So even though we would say this is a leaf that's turning red in the fall, if you look really carefully, it's not just red, right? There's yellow and kind of like a gold, goldish green and red and orange. I think leaves in the fall are so pretty. So keep your artist eyes open for them outside. There are lots of them right now. Leaf Man used to live near me in a pile of leaves. Does anyone see the face? The Leaf Man? See a face? Arms, legs, feet. Do you see that? Leaf Man used to live near me in a pile of leaves. But yesterday, the wind blew Leaf Man away. He left, tra he left no travel plans. And here he is, and then whoosh. <gasps> the last time I saw him, he was headed east, past the chickens. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. These leaves look like chickens. It's amazing how leaves, when you arrange them on the ground, they can actually look like things. That really looks like a chicken. Does everyone see it? There's the beak, and the thing on the top of the head, wings. Toward the marsh, over the ducks and geese, a leaf man's got to go where the wind blows. <gasps> look at that. Do you see how they look like ducks and geese? I love this book. So magical. I wonder if we could make leaves look like a goose or a duck outside. Do you think? I wonder. He blew over the fields of pumpkins and winter squash. and flew over the turkey. Oh, whoa. Past the potatoes, carrots, and cabbages in rows. Wow, it really looks like a cabbage. Then he blew out of sight. Is he drifting west? Above the orchards, those look like pear trees, and maybe apple trees. Look at them. Or over the prairie meadows.
and past the spotted cow. Look, how do you think this artist, oh, I forgot to even say who the artist was. It's Lois Elhart, Elhart rather. How do you think Lois Elhart made the eyes look like this? I wonder what tool she used. I'll bring it really close. Does anyone have any ideas? Did anyone say a hole punch? Hole puncher? Do you know that you can actually cut and punch leaves with a hole puncher or scissors? Isn't that kind of cool? This artist is using leaves as their art material. A leaf man's got to go where the wind blows. Bye cow. Maybe Leaf Man's gliding on a lake breeze. Or flying along the river. These almost look like fish. Does not look like a fish? Like a Following butterflies going south. Well, a leaf man's got to go where the wind blows. Does this look like butterflies? He might even be traveling north. Above leaves that look like him. And you'll notice, friends, that the pages all have these cut out parts to them. So when they're, when you turn the pages, they start to layer on top of each other like this. And they make these beautiful layered artwork. So even just how the pages fall feel like, feels like artwork. We're flying over the mountains with a flock of birds. When Leaf Man looks down on Earth, is he lonesome for home? This I do know, where a Leaf Man will land, only the wind knows. So listen for a rustle in the leaves. Maybe you'll find a leaf man waiting to go home with you. The end. Look at all these beautiful leaves. Where we live, it's not quite the season where the leaves are fully falling down yet. Although I have found a few beautiful, beautiful colored leaves on the ground. So maybe if you keep your artist's eyes open, you can find some too. Today's project is called Making Nature Faces. And you'll see coming up, I'm going to show you the way I made nature faces outside and the way you can too. The way we're going to do it is we're going to collect all kinds of natural materials like leaves, pine cones, sticks, pine needles, rocks, stones, ferns, which is a kind of a plant, um, moss if you find it. Of course, you'll go with a grown-up. to They'll help you collect these things or if they say it's okay, you can go out and do that. Um, flowers even, if it's okay to pick a flower, of course, ask. Um, all sorts of shape leaves of so different tiny ones and big ones, long um, dried seed pods work or long grasses. So yeah, it's like you can any and keep like look at nature through the eyes of collecting material like you would in a classroom. When I say you can choose materials, think about your outside area as that kind of 
air, like an art room where you're choosing your materials. Gather them in a pile and then you're going to arrange them on a flat surface and you'll make a nature face. And you'll see coming up how I did it, so it'll make a little bit more sense. But it's kind of like how this artist made Leaf Man out of natural materials. And before I go, I want to remind you to visit the Swift River School art website that I've created. There are all sorts of clickable things on there. If you put the mouse, if you put the cursor on all the books and the posters on the wall in my in my pretend classroom, you can click on it and go and visit different places. Last week, I think there was a little bit of a problem with, with getting on, but you can this week. I made sure that, at least I hope so, I made sure that it was um, accessible for you, meaning it's it would be okay for you to click through. And, oh, last but not least, if you when you make your, your, your nature faces outside, will you please, if you can, if you think of it, and if you, if you can, have a grown-up help you take a photo and send it my way so I can see your nature faces. And then you'll see on the website I have a Swift River School art gallery. And I plan on posting photos of your artwork in the gallery so everyone can see everyone's artwork. Doesn't that sound fun? I'm excited. Okay, friends, check out art faces. Nature faces, I mean. <laughs> check out nature faces. See you next week.